Hello, Taurus. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for the sign of Taurus? Please and thank you. What messages do you have for the sign of Taurus? Messages for Taurus, please and thank you. What messages do you have for a sign of Taurus? Okay, money will be coming to you. So some of y'all stressing out over your finances. They're letting you know you guys will be receiving money or the financial assistance that you need. What's the challenge that Taurus is currently facing that they need to be aware of or that they are aware of? That you want to draw attention to romances in the air and happiness. So, why is romance great? And they are saying great happiness. Not only do you have happiness with... Some of y'all are underestimating how happy you're about to be. Some of y'all money is coming through a connection. And you guys don't realize how happy you're about to be here. Because romance is in the air with Rose... Roses are my favorite flower. I love them. I, just, I don't know why. I, I, it's, whenever I see a rose, I'm just like, just seeing it on this card, it's just like made me want to, you know, take a moment to show how much I appreciate <laughs> this one of God's creations. I'm definitely getting someone here and some of y'all are about to be in a connection like someone who's well off. Y'all don't realize how happy you're about to be. Some of y'all is just you're in love with what you're doing and you don't realize like all the happiness that is in store for you. Okay, so the oh, one of them fell. Where where did that one go? Happiness. I mean, uh, I'm just gonna name this song because I'm happy. You need to defend yourself. You need to defend your happiness. Some people don't want to see you happy. Is some people that do not want to see you happy, they are affecting or at least trying to affect your energy because they realize if they can affect your energy, then they can affect your happiness and what you have coming in for you. Your spirit guides are advising you to protect your energy from these people. If you know like if you're around certain people or if certain people are messaging you and every time they message you is some toxic shit. If you know some people are coming towards you with toxic energy, they're saying cut them off because what you have coming towards you, you don't want to allow these people to mess with it. I'm getting you don't want to allow these people to be around it because they're just going to try to mess it up for you. Okay, past situation, family sorrow. So, so some of y'all, this is your family. Your family uh, really tries to like make you guys down and out. They try to do something to affect your energy. I'm getting some of y'all have dealt with some really toxic uh, family members here that tries to make you feel ugly, tries to make you feel like you weren't worthy of this or that, tries to make you, they try to make, what is it called like psychologically here when people like someone intentionally antagonizes you 
and this person is recording you. So it's like someone is intentionally antagonizing you and as soon as they get you worked up to the point where they want they want you to be and it's really they're trying to push their energy off on you, then they start recording you because they want to show everybody this is this is who Taurus really is. This is this listen listen to what Taurus said. This is this is who Taurus really is. I mean, some of y'all have people like doing that to you, whether you're aware of it or not. But I'm going to tell you what, the pain and the heartache that you went through with your family, or some of y'all just, whenever family is just people that you are really close with, it doesn't have to be siblings, aunts, uncles, mom, dad, it doesn't have to be that type of family. It can just be people that you consider to be very close to you, that you've known for a long time. Or even if you just met them recently, you feel very close to these people. I'm definitely getting people that you've known for a long time that you're close to. Let me not sugarcoat it. I'm, I'm going to give you the message like I'm getting it. Some people that you are very close to, as you know them for a long time. I'm definitely getting that these people push you through hell. They really did not want to see you manifest some sort of happiness that is here for you. Because I'm saying money is looking good or is about to. And you also have a love connection that's coming through. Some of you guys are just like going, like your challenge is trying to incorporate love in the midst of working your ass off because you have like a lot of responsibilities. But either way, it's going to work out. Flute, disappointment in a friend or a lover. Crack cup dissatisfaction with life so they they are bringing it up again some of you guys is just someone that you're close to is family whatever but they're saying that whoever these people are or this person is they're disappointed with their life and so they are trying to put that energy off on you they if you guys have cut them off already they're going to try again in the near future Because with flute here, flute is, is a form of getting attention. It's expressing yourself, but it's also a form of getting attention here. So, and with flute, because it's, I'm getting someone that comes, like they try to make them, like they want to be perceived as this, you know, loving, magical, majestic being, but they're really toxic as hell and they're not happy with the way their life is going and they don't want you to be happy either. Oh, it's people that just pretend someone new is entering your life so you're letting go this y'all are letting go of someone here you know what oh my gosh okay Guess what? Y'all are about to be taken off the market for whoever this is for. I'm getting a single tourist. Because you're headed towards a very successful connection. You're because this is with someone new entering your life, this is something you're letting go of. So you guys are no longer looking for someone to come towards you because you already have a connection. So some of y'all are about to be taken off the market. And you're done exploring options here. You found a successful relationship and it's only getting better. If you haven't yet, then you're about to.
some of y'all can meet this per person at work and whoever you're about to be in a relationship with this person could have experienced like a divorce or a breakup or they just some major change where it was like some some commitment that they had to walk away from whether it was a love relation or some of you guys did some of y'all have either walked walked away from a job recently that you've been there for years some of y'all just walked away from a relationship that you've been in been in for years but i'm definitely getting someone meeting someone at work and this person it's like you're gonna know that it's i'm getting someone who just like got divorced or they were in a relationship for a long time and they have left that connection because they're saying this is why you're no longer looking for someone new and with career popping up and broken ring they're giving you like signs of how you'll know who your person is so they've been through like some pain and heartache and they don't want to go through it no more someone is seeing you as doing something risky and taking a chance hammock taking a vacation physically or mentally someone is seeing you as someone that they want to take a chance towards like they want to take a risk towards because they feel like things will just flow very nicely between the two like they're seeing all of the possibilities of where a connection could lead with you someone is really interested in you i'm definitely getting a new energy here I love all the new energy. February. So the person that you're attracting could possibly be a Pisces. What else is February? Pisces or Aquarius. there but with this is also yeah this is also letting me know because you're highly thought of oh you not you don't know either you you're not aware of this person yet or you're not aware of how they feel about you or you haven't met this person yet because this is not about you're not even, this person isn't popping up in your energy. You guys are actually, it looks like something specifically kicked off in February for some people because some sort of significant change here with this wind. And it created some sort of obstacles. The thing is, I'm getting, because you are highly thought of, and I'm not getting this in a positive way. I'm getting, you stay on somebody's mind, whether it's a group of people or just one person in particular. And whoever these people are, who are or whoever this person is, this they're constantly trying to create some sort of obstacle by spreading rumors about you because with the wind here, and they're blowing out their mouth someone is like your name is constantly in someone's mouth and some of you guys is specifically a pisces or aquarius the thing is there's no substance to it it's like there's nothing like air you it's nothing we know it's there but it's it's nothing you know it's it's no solid it's not solid you know so it's like someone spreading lies about you but other people are like i don't see it like you know air is there but you don't see it so people are saying whatever someone is saying about you and they're constantly like trying to cause some sort of drama in your life they're like other people are like i don't see it i don't see it with Taurus. i don't yeah i don't even know what they're talking about i don't understand why every time i'm around them they gotta say something about tourists I'm getting some people are fed up with it because they're like is I'm not seeing what they're talking about
I'm going to dig a little bit deeper into this because I feel like this person, because this could be the person that's disappointed with their life. And so they're trying to create some sort of disappointment for you. I'm getting this person has some more tricks up their sleeves because they realize like the lies that they're spreading it's not getting them anywhere so they might try to dig up some dirt on you but it's i'm really getting let them do it i mean it's not like you're gonna stop them anyway it's just disregarded continues to do whatever you're doing because it's paying off for you because people see you in a positive light and they're looking at this person like oh, i don't know what the heck is wrong with you like why do you constantly keep taurus's name in your mouth your advice is unsettled times needs to plan ahead. Okay, so I'm, it's not, it's definitely, this person is definitely up to something, but a wish is being granted. So they're saying because of all this inner, like all this negative energy this person is trying to bring your way, the universe is bringing more blessings to you. So it's like the universe is showing because with the fruits of your labor, this person is about to bear some rotten fruit. Meanwhile, you are bearing some some juicy, ripe fruit ready to eat fresh off the tree because yours is rooted in good soil. This person, their, their tree is rooted in dead, rotten soil. So it's not producing good fruits. And what I mean by that, their intentions are just jacked up. Your intentions are pure. You come from a loving place. The more they try to show you in a negative light, the more you're being seen in a positive light. And it's gonna frustrate the hell out of this person. And they're trying to expose you to be something that you're not, but they're gonna end up exposing themselves in the process. So I just started to get Ariana Grande. Oh, I understand why I got that song. Okay, let me go to it because I just started to get that song. And it's a specific lyric uh, lyric in there that's coming through for y'all. So some one, let me get the name of this song. Where is it? Just Like Magic. So some of y'all need to listen to that song. Um, wake up in my bed. I just want to have a good day. Thinking in my head. Then it happens how it should. A, 12 o'clock I got a team meeting. Then a meditation like 1.30. Then I ride to the studio listening to some sh I wrote. Good karma, my aesthetic. Keep my conscience clear. That's why I'm so magnetic. That's the first I'm really getting for you guys. Is keep my conscience clear. That's why I'm so magnetic. The universe is letting you know the reason why you're able to, the reason why you're able to easily attract what you desire is because you have good intentions. You have pure intentions. And that's something that even I, I don't care like what you guys, uh, like if you have specific religious um, preferences or I'm going I'm to say like out because what I was raised on is the Bible. But I'm a spiritual person. But one one verse in the Bible, well, it, it talks specific, specifically about God knows your heart. So that's why it's like the actions of man, it doesn't mean anything if your intentions aren't pure when God knows your heart. So you can't fool God when it comes to your intentions. So it's like some people out here, they are so used to pretending like they are an angel on earth, 
but really their intentions towards others are just ugly and nasty and that's why god is like as someone is trying to expose you god exposes them but they're saying y'all may be tempted because that's why i'm getting this message is coming through specifically for you guys some of y'all will benefit from listening to that song but the reason why i'm getting that song specifically for you guys is because some of y'all may be tempted to feed into this toxic energy and they're letting you know that's exactly where they're trying to get you that's exactly what they're trying to do they want you to act out of character now listen to what i just said taurus they want you to act out of character that is not your character that is theirs leave that on them don't take that energy on because then it's going to make you sick and manifest things that isn't for you that's for them so leave it over there your spirit guides are letting you know the reason i'm getting goosebumps so i know that they are this is right on the dot this is exactly what they wanted you guys to hear out of all the stuff that came through this is what they really wanted you to hear is that the reason why you are able to manifest so easily is because you have good intentions you you have a clear conscience so keep that keep that same energy feminine energy this is naturally attracting manifesting as well being graceful that's who you are don't allow anyone to take that from you or to don't feed into the energy you just because the more you feed an energy attention the bigger it grows so when you deprive anything that you deprive whether if it's energy it's attention if it's i mean hell we we grow bigger the more we eat so the more you feed something the bigger it's going to grow if you don't feed something whether it's just giving attention to it or i mean whatever way it goes if you don't take care of something or you don't feed it energy because this situation is energy if you don't give it the attention that it's trying to get from you it's, it's going to die off it can't grow because you're not feeding it so that's what you're being advised to do to be graceful about a situation whether you're male or female I told y'all now they're going back to a connection y'all definitely have a union coming in this is going to take you when I when this connection comes in y'all are going to be overcome with the emotions that you feel for someone it's like I'm getting you weren't expecting to feel this way about someone it, it's it's like because the emotions it's like all of a sudden they just come to the surface and they overtake like everything some of y'all will be in a relationship by winter time because i'm definitely seeing you guys yeah and they're wanting you to rise above this drama some it's letting you know that you're going to rise above this because you're doing exactly what and look y'all are gonna be hesitant when this person comes in uh, and it's out of fear yeah because you've been disappointed so many times but this person is going to pleasantly surprise you i'm definitely getting that whoever this is for you guys are about to come into a divine union here and you've been naturally attracting this person towards you just by the healing that you have done recently always all now y'all some of y'all should know by now but y'all know i love to see my heart rock up front this is from my son so i love to bring this energy into y'all readings as well 
It's like, this is my favorite rock. He just found that out of nowhere and brought it to me. Woo's honey. I don't got all excited. I'm tossing the card all over the place. Okay. I need to quit playing sound. I got to stretch out, do my yoga, because I've been working out, y'all. So your dream partner is definitely on their way towards you. It's a su successful connection. It is your way. Someone that's about to be giving you all their attention, all their love and affection. coming in fast with the knight of wands good news it is your way i'm getting someone views you as their dream partner but y'all are going to see this person it's like once you realize who this person is or that you finally meet this person y'all are going to view this person as your dream partner but they're coming towards you really fast here because they don't want to miss out on the opportunity to be with you I'm definitely seeing like the attitude that y'all have are just like la da 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 da. Y'all are just in your own little world, and this person's like, oh man, oh man, I gotta get with Taurus. That is what I've been looking for. Taurus is what I want, and they are not wasting any time. Y'all have someone that's about to take action fast and in a hurry. I'm not getting that this person will be rushing things with you. Because I'm not getting the toxic energy from them. But I'm definitely getting that they're not like the type of energy that you have dealt with in the past. Where they, they're going to waste time thinking that they got all the time in the world. And then ultimately they end up losing you. No. Y'all have someone that's looking at you like you are what they've been waiting for. And they don't want to let you like slip past. Because they're like, hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. Wait a second, but y'all are seeing this person as good news. I'm definitely getting good energy from them. For them to appreciate you. This is someone who's very confident as well. And you always want someone that's confident in themselves. Ooh. Some sort of love connection came to an end. A connection where there was they're saying a lack of closure someone dragging you in their conflict and they didn't speak up so this is a completely different energy this is like someone observing you being stubborn and not speaking up they I'm getting like this person was waiting for the right time to say something but during that time of this person waiting for them waiting for the right time to speak up you lost interest in this connection because they're saying for whoever this is for there's some sort of person from the past that you don't feel out of love with because you got to a point where enough is enough you've given someone enough time and you no longer like you lost patience with the uh temperance being in reverse it's like, even though you wanted closure, some of y'all are just at this point where it's to hell with getting closure from this situation. I'm just over it. It's like this person waited for the right moment to speak up, but in the midst of them waiting for the right moment to speak up, you lost interest in them. Yeah, because you, you're like the energy you're in is that the love is not reciprocated between you and someone else here any advice for Taurus before I close this out go towards something new because after all the pain and heartache you're this is you're being led towards new love and you're not going to see this coming with the four of cups here this is going to take you by surprise because you're looking at all the relationships that's disappointed you that's rejected your love in the past 
and it's a connection that's coming in that you're not going to see because the energy that you're going to be in is like focused on some sort of disappointments here. But they're saying this new person that's coming towards you that's about to spark your interest is about to make you forget about all the pains of the past. You see these three cups this person was crying over. It's like you're focused on these three cups here, but you don't see the fourth one coming in. And the fourth one is turning into the two of cups, true love. So I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you at this time. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, take care.